Number 36, a 0.25 kg puck is initially stationary on an ice surface with negligible friction. At time t equals to zero, a horizontal force begins to move the puck. The force is given by f equals to 12 minus 3 t squared in the i direction with f in newtons and t in seconds and it acts until its magnitude is zero. Letter A, what is the magnitude of the impulse on the puck from the force between t equals to 0 0.5 seconds and t equals to 1.25 seconds? Letter B, what is the change in the momentum of the puck between t equals to 0 and the instant at each f equals to 0? So, the first thing that we have to do here is to check when the force is 0 because when the force is 0, it stops. So, if it stops before 1.25 seconds, letter A would be different. So, let's write it down, it's really easy to see. So, F is equal to 12 minus 3 times T squared in the I direction. So, as you can see, this should be 0. So, 12 minus 3 T squared equals to 0. So, T equals to 2 seconds, right? So, that's when the force stops. Okay, so now we can solve it because 2 is greater than 1.25, so we don't need to take into account uh, this fact over here for letter A. So for letter A, we want the magnitude of the impulse. So we can, cal can calculate the impulse by integrating from T1 to T2 F D T. So that's how we are going to get the impulse. So in letter A case, the initial t is 0 0.5, the final one is 1.25, f is equal to 12 minus 3t squared, and dt. Uh, I'm not mentioning the i hat because letter A wants the magnitude, so let's just doesn't that's just not right the unit verse right here right so okay we have to solve this equation over here so this is going to be 12 t minus 3 t to the power of 3 over 3 and this should be evaluated between 0 0.5 and 1.25 so this is equal to 12 times 1.25 minus 3 so we can cross this out right so 1.25 to the power of 3 and this is minus 12 times 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 to the power of 3 and this gives us, let's see, this gives us 7.17 Newton second. So that's the answer of letter A. For letter B, we want to change the momentum. However, we know that the impulse is equal to the change in the momentum. So we can get the change in the momentum by just calculating the impulse. So we are, we are going to do exactly the same thing that that we have done for letter A, but this time it's from 0 to 2 seconds. That's the only difference. So the impulse is equal to the integral from 0 to 2 of 12 minus 3 t squared dt. And this gives us 12 t minus t to the power of 3 from 0 to 2. So this is equal to 12 times 2 minus 2 to the power of 3 minus uh, 0, right? 0 and 0. Okay, so this is just 24 minus 2, 4, 8, which is 16. 16 kilograms meters per second. And that's the answer of letter B.